Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you a turtle based ball farm which uses a couple of obscure mechanics. So you may know that lightning is able to charge up creepers, convert annoying villagers to witches and even evolve certain animals. But a lesser known ability of lightning is that when it strikes a turtle, it has a chance of dropping a bolt. And by using a lightning rod, channeling trident or RNG, you can focus this lightning and repeatedly eliminate the turtles. So baby turtles don't drop anything when they die, which is quite fortunate because you wouldn't want to kill one of these guys, they're too cute. Instead we wait for them to reach adulthood and drop them down this massive cobweb column until they reach the very bottom where about 99% um, have grown up to full size. And then we kind of wait for a thunderstorm. So it's thundering right now but lightning doesn't occur too frequently, even with these lightning rods, but that's fine. You could use um, a channeling trident and you can bounce the trident up and down the lightning rod and that would produce like a constant stream of lightning. Um, but as you can see, one lightning bolt is more than enough to clear out a wave of turtles. So you don't really need a trident. It's kind of unnecessary. Um, and if it isn't thunderstorming, there's, you know, you wouldn't get any lightning if there isn't any thunderstorm, so you wouldn't be able to kill off the turtles and they'll kind of pile up in the bottom. So if I set the weather to clear here, you'll see the system is going to automatically switch over to its alternate kill mode, where instead of using, actually I got a command block here, let me turn that off. So instead of using lightning to kill the turtles, it's a very gruesome farm by the way, I, I apologize if, if you if you like turtles. I personally like turtles, but you got to admit, bowls are like also pretty cool. Anyway, so once this farm, um, once it's daytime, um, obviously there's not going to be any more lightning, so the turtles won't be able to meet their demise. So instead the farm uses a daylight sensor to detect when it turns back to clear weather or daytime, and then the turtles pile up here and then kind of fall into this pit of magma and die there. Um, now one turtle by himself won't be enough to push into here because the turtles can actually swim in water so you can't really push them in there by themselves. You either, you either have to use their pathfinding ability or um, other turtles to kind of like cram them in. So um, if I just speed up the process here and oh gruesome um, and add a couple more turtles. I can even do a tick warp real quick. Um, you'll see they'll eventually pile up and make their way into the magma. Um, now if any baby turtles manage to find their way all the way over here, like this guy has, they'll fall in here and eventually grow to full size where they'll suffocate in the wall and um, all the drops will end up in there. Now there's currently a bug at the moment where turtles that get struck by lightning don't drop seagrass, um, which is really weird, they, they don't drop seagrass, normally they do when they die, they only drop like a bowl. And even then, they don't drop the ball 100% of the time. So the loot table is a bit weird for turtles. Um, it means that this farm isn't self-sustaining. So you will need like um, an external seagrass source in order to supply the player with a constant amount of seagrass. Um, but just killing them on the magma here does drop seagrass. Uh, seems like my hopper minecarts have died, but anyway. Normally there's hopper minecarts down there which funnel the drops back up. Um, and speaking of the drops, the seagrass is filtered out and sent all the way up here back to the player. Um, it's a bit messy up here at the moment because my player is stuck, so all the drops are overflowing. But there's a system here which pretty much just dispenses the seagrass and then socks it back into the hopper every now and again so it doesn't despawn. Um, clock here just turns the dropper on and off. On off switch is just here. Well, that's the command block. Just there. Um, and yeah, that, that's most of the farm. If you want to make this in your own world, don't. It's really not worth it. There's way better alternatives to getting bowls, like I think you can AFK fish for them or just mine some wood, craft them, not not too hard. But um, if, if there's no wood in your world and you really hate turtles then I guess there's a world download in the description with your name on it so you can go and check that out. Uh, but yeah, thanks a lot for watching and, and have a great day.